What is your opinion about women's role in peacemaking and peace building? By Professor Patel at TISS. Women's role, peace. I have sort of view several thousand years ago human community, very small community. Uh, so no concept of leadership. All work together, whatever they got, share together. Then gradually human population increased and farming system started. And then the question of mine, mine. Uh, so stealing or bully, these things happen. So concept of leadership develop. So at that time, no rule of education. So leadership, uh, very much in, in order to become leadership, very much related with physical strength. So male dominance. <laughs> Yesterday, what some religious leaders, different religious leaders, what's the leaders come together. So I jokingly mentioned uh, only brother, no sister. <laughs> now here, sister, here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they, then gradually, you see the concept of, or tradition, or habit, of male dominance come. Then gradually education develop. Education brings more equal. In modern, modern time, uh, many significant leaders are female. So education brings equal. Uh, still, the male dominance there. Uh, and in, among the religious sort of community, also some male dominance there. Now time come, as we already working, promotion of human compassion, promotion of human love. In that field, female, biologically more sensitive are the suffering. Uh, they, now that also on scientist scientific finding two person one male one female watching one picture one person passing through painful experience you see one male one female the female physically more sensitive when seeing painful experience so, the, now time come, we male withdraw and let female should take more, <laughs> more active rule <laughs> and, and we remain behind. <laughs> control, control of <laughs> our f female friend from behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I really feel now time come, female should take more active role. Now already in education field, many teachers female and the nurses, many doctors are female. Now we should take more active role. Then I think in this country, sometimes a little discrimination female kasa or what uh, uh, certain sort of habit the dowry samare dowry or some other person whose husband passed away they are not allowed to remarry or something like that so this i think part of indian tradition and then caste system or part of uh, your sort of uh, tradition but these things very much related with feudal system and lead upper class 
they justify to rule lower caste people. So they develop certain sort of or tradition or certain idea. That's due to, I think, influence of feudal system. Feudal system gone. We have to make change. I always uh, have the view, and also accordingly telling people, any religion, three aspects. One aspect is Dharma, religion. Same as I mentioned earlier, all carry message of love, a message of forgiveness, tolerance, same. Then the second aspect is philosophy or concept. There are differences. Some say there is creator, some say no creator. Uh, so big differences. Even within non-theistic religion, Sangya philosophy, uh, uh, Jain philosophy, Buddhist philosophy, all uh, non-theistic religion, but there is differences, concept of atma and anatma. So in the philosophy, and within Buddhism, there are mainly four uh, schools of thought. Vibhashek school of thought, Kasain, uh, Sodantic school of thought, Chitta Mantra school of thought, Madhimika school of thought, and each one have subdivisions. So a lot of differences. So these differences uh, actually come from the same source, Buddha Shakyamuni. So sometimes I jokingly say telling people, Buddha one day taught something, another occasion taught something. That does not mean Buddha's own mind confused. Certainly not. <laughs> Buddha enlightened. So, no, he deliberately tried to create more confusion among his followers. No. Then answer is, he taught. As uh, an individual or different people, according to their own mental disposition. So, to some people, Certain philosophical views are more suitable to some some people. Different sort of because of the philosophical views are more suitable. So therefore, uh, there are many different philosophical views. So that's no problem. So long, same goal. Oh, the aim is promotion of love. So no problem. Some people say uh, there is God, creator, infinite love, very powerful to follow practice of love. Uh, and non-theistic religion, uh, everything, then non-theistic religion, the no beginning of life, life after life. Uh, so all this due to karma, one's own karma. Karma is one's own creation. So bad karma also, you see, brings more kasoda, more suffering. Good karma brings more happiness. So everybody loves or, or so the, so, so, love kasoda, love self I mean, concern one's own sort of uh, future. So therefore, resting, harming other, helping other people. That's good karma. Restain, humming, that's bad karma. So, your own, your own master. So, that way of approach also is very good to some people. So, different philosophy, different way of approach, same goal, no problem. Then third uh, aspect of religion is some tradition. Even Tibet case, uh, for example, Dalai Lama institution. First Dalai Lama, first Dalai Lama a wonderful teacher, learned one. So his second Dalai Lama come because of clear evidence. Uh, the second Dalai Lama at a young age showing 
express clear memory about past life. So then gradually, of course, the karma was even before the reincarnation of karma institution. Then dharma institution come like that. First dharma, second dharma, third, fourth, fifth. Then fifth dharma. Then because of certain circumstances, then become head of both temporal and spirituality. So now me, uh, suppose the 14th Dalai Lama, since my childhood, I found our system is backward. Too much power in individual person's hand. So as soon as I took the responsible, temporary responsibility, within two, three years, I start reform committee to change, but not very successful. And then, uh, 1954, went to Peking, 1956, came to India, Buddha Jainty celebration. Uh, then, 59, come to India as political asylum. Then, at once, we start work for democratization. Then, 2000, one, we already achieved elected political leadership. Since then, my position is semi-retired position. Then 2011, I totally retired. Uh, so because I feel the Dalai institution automatically, since 5th Dalai Lama, Dalai institution automatically become head of both temporal and spirituality, some sort of traces of feudal system. So must change. So not only myself retired, but also the 400, four century old tradition, the Dalai Lama automatically become head of both temporal and uh, spirituality. Now that officially, formally, proudly, happily ceased. Now no longer, uh, even if Dalai Lama institutions remain, or 15 Dalai Lama come, no significance about political matter. But the Chinese government seems they still believe the Dalai Lama is the real, Dalai Lama have real authority of Tibet. So the 15 Dalai Lama, uh, they really showing serious interest. I have no interest. <laughs> like that. So therefore, now, certain us, now they, India, unfortunately, the Kasa limit, Kasa, low cost, untouchable or something. Uh, Dalit survey, uh, Dalit. So these, I think, part of your tradition. But now time come, change, through awareness. So even you believe, you see, we all created by Brahma. Uh, so same source. Uh, I think four phase Brahma. Uh, this is not very significant. All come from uh, the same source. If you go very detailed, then children.